Who's your heart beating for? Who's your heart beating for in this life? In terms of what you want your the message or the impact of your life to be. You know, if we had to go to, you know, your epitaph or your epilogue. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. You know. <laughs> now let's, let's end on a high note. Woo! Um, I haven't heard it end everything yet, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Just imaginary, just imaginary. We hope you're with us for a long, long time. We're just doing an imagination exercise. Um, but yeah, regardless of thinking about the end, what what do you want the what do you want the impact of your life and your love mission to be? It's a great question. I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> so, so what do what would I like the impact to be? Oh my goodness. I don't even fully know yet. Like I feel like I'm in a place right now where I'm going inward a lot mm -hmm. and trying to just you know release my own conditioning, my own things that still need to be to be released. Mm -hmm. Um and so it's one of those things like I feel like it's you know no matter what I could even come up with to say right now I feel like it's just going to evolve and change it's like I and I want to leave it open for the, for that too because um because yeah I don't, it's I had a thought that was like right there for a second it's going to come back to me though <laughs> Because I think the thing is, is that even, even if I were to set out with a particular mission or something or a particular goal in mind of what I would hope somebody would get from me, mm -hmm. um, the truth is that people are all, they're going to get exactly from me what they need. You know, whether they're my client or my friend or my family member or whatever it is, whatever it is that's meant to be impactful from me that they're meant to carry with them could be something that I may never even think of. Sure. You know, be able to even come up with, um, you know, I, I want to, you know, I'm working with my mentor on, you know, getting to a place of grace and knowing what that is and what it is to live from grace and to be able to feel grace i don't know that yet because uh, it's all brand new um you know so i certainly hope that by the time i do know what grace is and everything that that would be something that i would be able to to impart um but it, it's yeah there's a lot there to think about with, <laughs> with your question um well so well so let me, let me say this because it it, from a per, just a, a personal perspective, it, it helps me to gain a better uh, sense of confidence and even a better rapport with you in that regard. Um, of it's one thing to be taught, coached, mentored, or led in mm -hmm. something by someone who's read it in a book mm -hmm. or oh. seen someone else do it, uh -huh. and you know, there's, there's this intellectual way of going about, well, this is how you get this thing done. It's another thing altogether to be led by someone who is doing it. Oh, absolutely. Has done it. Yes. And I, <laughs> if there's one thing that, that is coming through very crystal clear is that you've walked this path. You are still walking this path. Um, you just have more experience in walking this path. You have more tools available to you in walking this path. You have more experience walking this path with others that you can bring the experiences of that and the, the benefits or the outcomes of that into helping the next person um, on their journey. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And in that regard, you know, there's a very genuine sense of this person has the tools and the talents available to help me get to where I want to go, mm -hmm. even if it's not somewhere they've been. Mm -hmm. um, so in that regard, uh, uh, I can highly recommend anyone that is looking for assistance in their own personal love journey uh, to work with you, to work with your practice, uh, see that they get the help that they need in self-discovery and self-love um, and self-care. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so let me ask you this, for those that aren't familiar with your work or with your practice, how can they get in touch with you? Is there a website? Is there a yeah, media? Yeah, they have a website. Um, the name of my practice is Connection Therapy Services. Okay. And my website is connectiontherapyservices.com. All right. Um, and um, I'm in Williamsburg, Virginia for actual therapy like if it's that, if it's considered therapy in the Commonwealth of Virginia, then I have to leave. I, ha I can only work with people within the Commonwealth of Virginia. But for things like the quantum alchemy, for the Reiki, I can work with anybody anywhere on that. Um, you know, so thankfully there are not any limitations on 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 those pieces, which is which is great. So that's fantastic, Tania. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking time to speak with us today. I appreciate thank you, Kevin. I Thank appreciate you. Thank your journey and your mission. Um, we wish you all the best success going forward. And um, thank you for loving with us. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to be here with you today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So for those who have been watching, thank you for being here with us as well. Um, this is an ongoing interview series. We'll be working with different people as they discuss their love journeys and their love missions. Um, and we hope that it helps to influence, impact, and help you along your way in your love mission. Have a great, have a great day. Who is your heart beating for? Who is your heart?